Dear friends, welcome to JC Travel Ukraine channel. My name is Astia and I'm here to guide you through Kyiv subway today. Usually the guests are exploring the streets, museums, shopping malls, main attractions, viewpoints, but they miss the chance to experience Kyiv Metro, another world hidden underground. That is why we've decided to open up a little bit of it for you today. We will visit five different stations. The first one, which was opened here in Kyiv, the deepest one, the most colorful one, the one which looks like the ancient temple, and the one located on the river. Stay with us till the very end to find out how many times you've traveled in Kyiv subway, even though you've never been here. I promise you amazing stories and unforgettable experience, so follow me. We start our journey from the University Subway Station, which is located on the Red Line and was the first one opened here in Kyiv in 1960. It's a classic example of the metro station with a deep foundation. The name University comes from Taras Shevchenko National University, located just nearby. What's interesting, the interior design corresponds to its name as well. Along the station's main hall, you can find busts of outstanding scientists, writers, philosophers, such as Dr. Alexander Bohomolets, chemist Dmitry Mendeleev, writer Ivan Franco, and mystic Grigory Skovoroda. Let me tell you the secret here. Behind this poster, there was a bust to Lenin, the founder of USSR and Communist Party. But with the collapse of Soviet Union, the bust was dismantled. And now we have the poster with the year of the foundation of the opening of Cave Subway. Come here and I'll show you something what you would never find yourself. For the construction of the main hall, they used pink marble, which has the remains of prehistoric organisms, like this. They, these guys are called ammonites, and unfortunately, they disappeared from the planet together with dinosaurs 65 million years ago. Time to move on to the next. Let's go to Arsenalna station. Madam, we are now at the deepest subway station in the world, Arsenalna. If you're wondering how deep it is, take a look in our previous video about Statue Motherland. And imagine if it was turned upside down and put it all the way through the underground. And there still would be some space left. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are now at a depth of 105 meters. In order to deliver the passengers here, engineers had to create two long escalators, all together 102 meters in length. So it will take you about five to seven minutes to get from the main entrance all the way down to the platform. The most interesting fact about Arsenalna subway station is the construction of intermediate lobby, which connected to escalators. In 1950s, our engineers were actually the pioneers, because no one else in the world constructed something like that before. Thus, there was no help. But I suppose they believed that nothing is impossible. So, They've frozen loose soil with liquid nitrogen, built a huge reinforced concrete ring weighing 3,000 tons and with the help of specially developed technologies, within a few months lowered it to the necessary depth. It's been 60 years since the opening of Kyiv subway. Metro builders became way more experienced and by 2020 we already have three lines with 52 stations operating. The subway is connecting two banks of the river and to cross 
the river in the train or for subway it's one of my favorite attractions so don't miss it Welcome to a Sokorki subway station. It was built here just at the beginning of Ukraine's independence in 1992. But it became so bright and colorful much later in 2018 when the artists from different countries were able to leave their signatures here. Altogether, there are eight murals around the station, but I'd like to talk about two of them. First one will be Mural Motherland, on this side, created by artists from Spain called Crazer. Here, artists used rare animals from the Red Book of Ukraine. To the left, there is a bear representing Western Ukraine with the integrated Lviv city hall. On the right, you can see Corsak or the fox representing the eastern part with an integrated Donetsk airport. Between them, there is a pointer ground with the coat of arms of Ukraine. This mural is a reflection of modern situation within the country. Even though East and West are divided today, Ukraine is the motherland for all the citizens. Another mural I want to talk about is Avdiivka. It was created by the artist Matthew Down from Belgium. In the heart of the painting, there are real photos of Avdiivka. This mural symbolizes that future generations will have to face and handle the consequences of adults' behavior. Thus, let's try our best to leave for our children a better place for living. Let me show you what our ancestors left us as a heritage. I'm happy to introduce to you the most beautiful Kyiv subway station, Zolotivorota, the Golden Gate. I have to admit that we were super lucky to inherit this beautiful subway station uh, just at the edge before the collapse of Soviet Union in 1989. The archers between the marble columns are decorated with mosaic figures of our princes who ruled the country during our history. They start from Ki, the founder of our city in the 5th century and all the way to Danilo Halecki who was at the power in 13th century. Walking along the hall, you'll find other important historical figures, churches of Kyiv, and ancient ornaments. Interestingly, none of these small mosaics were repeated. I'm sure you noticed stunning chandeliers on the top. Well, they resemble the ancient lamps from the temples. Now you do understand why the Golden Gate subway station is a must-see place in Kiev. Put it on your list for the future travels and now let me show you the last station of our tour. Hey, we are outside finally and we are by the river. What a view! That's Dnipro River, by the way, and uh, can you guess what is the name of the station I'm standing in? Yes, Dnipro as well. Surprisingly, this station was also one of the first to open in 1960 and remained a final point until 1965. Today it's hard to imagine that there was no bridge and train had to stop here, just on the edge. In the pylons on both sides, there are hidden stairs. They were used as an exit at that time. And by the end, I will tell you one more interesting fact. Every day, Kyiv Metro is transporting the average of one and a half million people. In just 60 years of operation, Kyiv Metro transported 21 billion people. If you take the entire population of planet Earth and 
divide on every person, it will come up that each person on the planet traveled in Kyiv subway three times. I do have a lot of other lovely stories about Kyiv for you. So sign up for JC Travel Ukraine channel to get to know them. Or oh, you know what? Better pack your suitcase and come to experience Kyiv yourself. Oh, what time is it? I have to meet someone at the airport. Maybe next time it will be you. Bye-bye.